son. No, but seriously, you should all go subscribe to ISPs that'll actually have to do the proper artillery challenge and not what I'm about to do. Also in the description, there's a giveaway for a City Skylines key, which I don't know, I'll draw like Monday or something. Enjoy. Do it again, Bombardier Harris. That is, play this just horrific. I don't know. I kind of like the Times 10 mod. Just, there's so many things wrong with it. And we're gonna make it worse. So, so much worse. So today, we are indeed scrapping everything we have in our army and replacing it all with artillery. However, we're also playing the pure random AI focuses mod. We're playing the times 10 mod. And we have a few other little bits and pieces. The most relevant is, here we are, ZMM more variants. So we can make our artillery even worse. And by worse, I mean even better. Basically, I just want to see how much soft attack I can get in a single division in this run. And I wonder how that's going to affect the game, because I'm thinking two things. The first, first thoughts I'm having, right? For a start, normally the problem with artillery divisions is not enough org in them, not enough strength. They get just slaughtered immediately, right? Cool. Except I can be using the uh, super zombie reviving field hospitals and bloody reviving maintenance companies that will never lose gear and will never lose manpower and will steal more than 100% of the enemy's man of gear as well. It's a little bit weird. We'll actually increase our own manpower as well. Just don't worry about that. So that'll make them stronger, but also just the flat increases in orgs, as you'll see here, 100 increase in org is going to increase in 100. Like, that's still a flat increase of a really... Uh, a really big boost. You see, we got 50 org. So if we look at an empty division real quick, all right? Here we are. An artillery piece has no org. Um, I believe that's not entirely correct, and if we added some support companies and more pieces, that should be fine, but basically, we go from zero to a hundred org, which is already more than the infantry start with. And sure, that's not actually like, the infantry will also get the hundred percent, right? Sorry, the hundred rather than a hundred percent. But what it should come out to is artillery divisions that can survive a fight and I hope by having so much soft attack that any battle they get, uh, get into is instantly ended by a single attack. They should have so much that a single dice roll should just wipe the enemy off the map. I hope that's how this run is going to work. Now it's important to note that it's an artillery only run, not just a field cannon only run. That means we can use rocket artillery and more than that we can use motorized rocket artillery. Now, the main reason I say that is I've looked at the modifiers and they seem to get a 600% plus 150 over here. So about about 750% more damage on top of any normal bonuses that artillery get. So overall, they actually get a bigger bonus than all of the uh, artillery pieces will. And you'll note here, soft attack of an artillery piece is 34. So the la uh, latest artillery piece Soft attack of a Nebelwerfer is 38, and then the soft attack of the Opal, of the, uh, sorry, Rocket Blitz, Rocket, I mean, Blitz is an appropriate word for Rocket Truck, isn't it? Is 36. So with all the modifiers, I think the Rocket Artillery may be the best thing to use in, uh, it's called, to mass soft attack. Oh, there is one change I've only just noticed that this mod makes. <laughs> if you select a Heinz... Oh, I... Uh, okay, I'm gonna allow myself, like, a single unit of self-propelled guns. Because I want to see how fast I can make them go, okay? Alright, one unit. Only one division, because I want the Sanic Division. I don't know why they've just changed this advisor and no one else, but I like it. I like it a lot. Wait, why the fuck do I... Oh. Oh. Oh my fucking god, this mod. I didn't realize it times 10 Hitler as well. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed that I never saw this because, of course, Hitler got killed in the last timeline. Is is Mussolini, like, is anyone else time sent? No, I think it was, I think it's just Hitler. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> France has been times 10 as well. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, my fucking God. Yep. They also times 10 the German bloody designers. Ah, uh, boy, this is gonna be silly. Why is it Germany only got this beautiful focus tree, and the last time the AI was just sort of like, nah, let's get let's get the Kaiser back in, and then they got rid of the Kaiser and they went for a fucking democracy. 
AI, you could have had all of this power. Oh, I'm almost certain the mod has been updated because you didn't used to be able to do a hundred infrastructure in a state. But now you sure as fuck can. All right, let's take our armies for a little bit of a test run. This is a... Oh, wait, yeah, I lost my memfo bills. Eh, to be honest, I'm kind of fine with that. Let's test out this army. Now, remember, we've only gotten the first few techs of... Uh, here we go, of uh, superior firepower. No real artillery techs just yet, as I'm still working my way towards those. Oh, there's so much stuff to get. But let's just test out these... Okay, these guys are fully equipped. Yeah, let's test out you... Straight into these guys. Let's see what happens. Okay, those are some good numbers. We're still hitting a minus, was it, 40% from terrain? Yeah. But uh, those are some good numbers. Okay. Oh, they drain his... Oh, they ruin his uh, strength as well. I recall this thing someone wrote one time where they were explaining about how the best way to sort of... Did you just navally invade me? I'm going to say no to that. No thanks. You have been denied. You've been shut down. That's a no. Get out of here. Did you, did you do it twice? Get the fuck out of here. What is my navy even doing? I made a good navy. Use it. Brilliant. Well, it's been tested a little bit, and we found it not necessarily wanting, even though all my guys are now half strength again. But it wasn't amazing. We could certainly do better, and I think that involves mostly getting more soft attack. The less they're able to hit me, the better I feel. So I'm just trying to see if we get to Anschluss ten times Austria. Which would, I guess, just mean annexing the Austro-Hungarian Empire? I, I, I'm down for that. Oh no, you can build a hundred of every building. Oh. And fifty of anti air. Oh no, this mod- Wait, how much- how many forts? Still only ten. I like how they're like, no, 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 we're gonna go insane, but not that insane. Oh god, the Hindenburg disaster. It crashed to the ground, claiming 350 lives. Now comes a little bit more of an interesting choice. Now, I would, of course, normally say that line artillery for this run is going to be better for uh, the soft attack bonus. However, the one thing I'm considering is that if you go for integrated support, that means that it applies to the rocket support companies and the, uh, what do you call it, the line support companies as well. But I still think overall that a flat 100% boost to the normal artillery units is probably going to be better. Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to boost my rocket artillery, however. I doubt it. We'll see. We'll all see. I like how I can just feel the will to live be just sapped from me as I play this mod. I just... I know how bad it's going to get. The lag is going to be awful. This is why i got to kill you, Italy. And then... France. And then onto the net. What is, what is Japan doing? I saw your hand. What were you doing? Get out of Italy. Don't you be touching him now. That's the Pope's job. I'm sorry, what? Not this one. Th th this one. This one. I'm gonna have to go east, aren't I? Stalin, you're, you're kind of in my way. Oh, God, they're here. Oh, wow, they actually have a model in the game? Oh, shit. I mean, no one's gonna use motorized rocket artillery. But at least they've got a model. Would you look at that? That's just, that's just 60 military factories, that is. Um, it's okay, I'm not gonna do it. Instead, I'm gonna Anschluss Austria. A much better choice. Oh, well, tickle me pink and call me Susie. It didn't actually give me max infrastructure. It only added 10. That's interesting. That means that the focuses only actually add 10. They don't max the infrastructure number. Huh. Alrighty. Well, I'm still gonna max infrastructure in Brandenburg because that's just what I'm doing. Because I want to see that. Get out of here, inferior non-barrel-having peasants! Holy shit, Austria had 95 divisions by the time I unschlossed them. That's a bit fucking scary. They're also trying to- he's trying to kill Zog. Well, we have, we have to stop him now. Get out of here, Italy. Okay, so we're getting some nice numbers, but most of this is fucked up by the terrain and the fact that it's night right now. Where did that tank go? I'm gonna use it for a little bit of encirclement. Oh my god, the, the uh, animation for the rocket artillery firing. I've never seen this before. That looks amazing. Um, so look, we've already lost like four... Is that? I think six divisions all up? Yeah, lovely. Brilliant. Just watch as their strength vanishes and then they suddenly die. It's, uh, it's pretty horrible. Oh god, we're actually getting pushed back here. I was gonna say, as nice as it is to kill the Italians, this is not doing amazingly well. We need to, we need to get those numbers up. This soft attack is not high enough. Oh, oh god. What is it that's killing me though? I need to know. Like, I think it's mainly the fact that the terrain is rough for my uh, for my guns, but hold on. 
Yes, yeah, so the attacking on planes, we get beautifully high soft attack and we just melt the enemy divisions. But I think my divisions are just dying in the defense, which means the best way to use this, and I'm gonna hate myself for doing what I'm about to do, is just a massive fucking line of uh, probably like a thousand artillery divisions. If I could pull this off, I'm going to hate myself, but I think it will work. But now we can actually equip our guys with uh, field hospitals and maintenance companies, and we may survive this. So basically from now on, my guys, yeah, we seem to be doing a little bit better. Oh my god, these numbers. The decryption advantage as well, oh Jesus. But my guys shouldn't actually take any more casualties. We should start to now get negative casualties over time as they attack us. Um, if the, uh, yeah, oh, there we go, casualties are going down, okay. Alright, so negative casualties, and we're now not losing any gear. The question is, can I push? Apparently, apparently we have luck. The Italians, they're not looking too happy. They're all half org. Do we try it, or do we wait for, like, the 50 unit? I'm just going to deploy these and we'll go. Alright, let's do this. Minus 25% doesn't matter that much when we're going to be this fucking strong. Alright, here we go. You're doing a little bit better. But, like, every tick we lose a lot of strength. Oh, we have, like... Wait, how do we only have a few Org? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's because... No, that's why we're losing, because this only gives leg infantry. Damn it! We actually need to go for mobile warfare to get the all infantry. No! But then we lose the massive soft attack bonus. Please tell me there's some more Org somewhere. There has to be a way to get Org. <gasps> Wait. Wait, we could go back and we could go give... The support companies will give plus 100 org, which means that our units will have... Oh my god! Reset the clock! We're going for support companies! If this if this works, I'll be so impressed. Hang on, we've just changed it up, but it looks like at least... If we, if we hand, oh god, our guys have all de-orged. Hang on, how much org do our guys have now? 57. Oh, thank god, it's a little bit. They have some. Oh my god. Right. Okay, maybe with some good time, we may be able to actually push through. I didn't realize I had so little org. Oh, God. Because artillery do count as infantry, but not as leg infantry is the, I believe, the difference there. Yeah, just based on the messiness of these divisions, I think I'm just going to put everyone into one template, sorry, into one army and just keep refilling it. Because to refill individual armies every time I take losses is going to be so bad. So let's just start by putting all the uh, ordinary infantry into one lad. There we go. Okay, I think our guys are orged up and the Italians are mostly de-orged. We're going to give it... A I hope we will push. Let's unpause and see what happens. Oh my god, I see green. Oh my god, I see green and I see a lot of soft attack. That's not enough soft attack though, because I've seen 12,000 before. Th these are rookie numbers. We gotta pump these numbers up. Alright. Oh god, we, we need to we need to get better like reinforce as well. Oh Jesus. Oh god, the way these combats work is so Oh my god, we've lost half our divisions! Oh, no. Oh, this is so fucking cancerous. It's just so bad. Um. Uh. Fuck. Right. I, I, need to, I need to find a way to fix this. And I have a very silly idea. If this works, I'm just going to be unhappy with myself. Oh, my God. This, this is going to work, isn't it? I actually hate myself for doing this. But it, it, it fucking works. Oh, no. That's still 300 soft attack as well. Okay, I'm gonna test, I'm gonna test it with, like, four. And we'll see how well it does. It do? Yeah, how well it does. Oh, this is just, I genuinely feel ill with what I'm doing here. This is not nice. This is very bad. This is not in the spirit of things. Oh, God, but I have also, like, lost all my units and the, the Italians are about- Wait, what are you guys doing? Get on the fucking line! Alright, let's just do a quick test of these guys against some Italians, right? So we'll march them up, let's see what happens. Okay, so here's the thing is, they're still dealing way more soft attack, but they actually have org. In fact, almost as much org as the enemies. And honestly, that's not too bad. The thing- Okay, no, the problem still is strength. It's because their HP is too low, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, their HP is 9.6 versus like an infantryman's... Oh. Base of 34. Right. How the hell do we boost the HP of our units without not doing artillery? 
Oh, we need to find like the perfect because artillery does actually boost HP. Ha, oh, what do we do? What do we do? Okay, so as long as they're not in combat for too long, this whole HP problem doesn't matter. But, oh god, I need to find a way to fix it. Oh! I don't want to use, like, all these p panzers, I guess. Would somewhat avoid it. They get more HP and they get less damage, but they've still got the org problem. Oh, this is a problem. This is a very big problem. Okay, so here's how I think we have to do this. This is my best idea on how to deal with the whole... HP problem. So, HP... So, sorry, the problem is we have... On one side, we have Org, and on the other side, we have HP. So, what I think we do is we have tiny divisions with all the Org that can push, and then massive divisions with no Org, but a lot of HP that can, like, at least last and, like, not die immediately. Because at least they'll retreat, but they won't die when the smaller divisions do. So, you can get to, like, 22 HP. Which is still nothing compared to a single infantry of 46. God damn it. Ah, oh, this is horrible. That or the other idea is literally just massed artillery. Just so much artillery that there is no way that we won't break through. Just the Soviet tactics, basically, except instead of men, it's guns. We're just throwing artillery pieces at them. We don't even reload them these days. We just bring in a whole new piece like it's a fucking printer. I'm still sort of confused as to who's going to push and who's going to hold. I guess, actually, the small guys are going to be the ones to hold because they have the org to not retreat. Oh, get out of here, Bulgaria. Whereas the, um, the big guys are the ones who are going to have to push because they've got the HP not to get destroyed in a push, I think is maybe how it's gonna happen. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh yeah, by the way, Brennenberg has 100 out of 100 infrastructure, which means, uh, how much? Oh my fucking god, that supply. That's, um, that's a lot of ration packs. I want 50 fat boiks and 50 small boiks to make the fat boiks look fatter. And then maybe we might try and push into Italy. Okay, this should do. Let's see how this goes. Remember, we started with 379 divisions. We have air superiority. We have a load of... Wait, hang on. Let's make sure our bloody close air support's here as well. Yep. Okay, it's nice and ready. They're ready and fighting. Let's push and just see what happens. Because I'm imagining it's going to be really bad. Go. Okay, a mix of greens and reds. Let's slow it down and see what happens, right? So we've got, to start with, loads of damage. This is attacking into mountains as well. Um, cool. L Luftwaffe? I don't think you are, but okay. Okay, looks like some good victories. We're hearing the rockets go off. Some uh, some of the bloody rocketeer boys. Okay, how's the air support going? Air support is doing a lot. Okay. I imagine a lot of this has to do with the air support, funnily enough, and not with, you know, the ground guys. But okay, okay, we're doing pretty good here. Oh my fucking god, my divisions are melting. Let's just let's just speed this shit up. Let's see what happens. Oh no. Our, our manpower is going up, however, thanks to all the casualties we're taking, but not really. We're 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 anti-taking. We're undertaking, you might say. Um we are pushing. At least. That is a true fact that may or may not be. Thanks to, like, the piles of dead guns we're leaving behind us. Oh, this is so brutal. They're just getting slaughtered. If I can beat, like, one country with this horrible challenge... I thought this was going to be, like, silly, but not this bad. The HP problems just make this horrendous. I imagine it's just the fat boiks left, and the only reason the fat boiks are winning is because their damage is so high. But I'm interested to see how many fat boiks and how many small boiks we have at the end. Currently, it's seven, uh, 67 fat boiks to 111 small boiks. Yeah, it's a small boiks. Oh no, a couple of fat boiks just died. I don't know. God, I'm so... I, I just I hate this so much. I loathe it. How fast are these trucks? They're a little bit... Oh god, they're, everything's so slow. Why is everything so slow? Oh, probably because of the deep snows and the... Oh, and the infrastructure. Right, I forgot. I like the numbers around here. That was just 2,000. Oh, mate, 4,000? Nice. Oh, God. Oh, mate. That was a lot of overruns. Saying no overruns, we just overrun a bunch of guys with artillery. I assume we just ran them over with the carriage wheels. And again, this whole time, my... Wait, Japan? Where the fuck is Japan? 
Not on a world map, I mean like in a literal sense, but also on a world map. Please help, I'm terrible with geography. I'm Drew, after all. How bad do you have to be to let people pushing artillery carriages actually encircle you? This is just A-grade Italy. Oh no, oh no, here they go. Salut, can you- Wait, what do you mean these aren't Soviets? You don't understand. The Soviet is the one in the encirclement. Fuck, that is a not at all appropriate and very obscure fucking uh, reference there. Okay, so as far as I can see, air land battle- land, air land battle will boost my org, but advanced fire bases won't. Which means that this side is the better choice. But it's only a very small boost, it was like a boost of four organization. I still have the HP problems. But I think overall it's still the better choice anyway. Artillery support and lines, that's nice. That's the really shock and awe is an amazing one. Um, this one as well, another centralized fire control, but I guess we'll go on this one and the combined arms will just sort of be useless. Oh god, okay. What? I, I'm sorry, what? Italy just declared one in the UK. Of course they did, because... Wait, hang on, how is Bulgaria in your fact? Oh, go fuck yourself. Why am I even at war with China? Ah, uh, this is just... Churchill, back off. He's mine. Wait, is Churchill even around yet? Chamberlain, fuck off. Go give a speech elsewhere. Oh god, we're just flooding in. Come on, come on, bisect the Italians, let's do this. Oh, this is horrible. But we might actually do it. The planes, the planes are everywhere. Wait, we have, uh, we have uh, ships, don't we? Do we have any level 3 shit? Yes, we do. Alright, send in the ship. Wait, who? Who got all the na- Oh, right, the Brits are here. Of course. I'm gonna say, let's call in the bloody ship support, see if that doesn't help. Game what? To start with, they don't have a commander, and apparently someone's shore bombarding. It's not me. I'm gonna move down here and do it, though. But why aren't any of my divisions in the battle? Wait, they- they're not actually bigger than the battle size, are they? How big are fat boys? They're 75, the battle's 80. Surely we can fit somewhere. Okay, there we go. 14,000! That's not even my final form. A side effect of the mod changing everything to, uh, what do you call it? 100, um, infrastructure. It means that all of your units are always one speed. Because the infrastructure is always way too low from the max. See, look, here they have 20 because they have way higher because the uh, infrastructure. But if you step over into this province, which has 33 infrastructure, and we check their speed, it goes down to 4, because now it's minus 95. Oh, now they're on the move, it's minus 95. There we go. So down to 1. That's actually a serious problem in this mod. It means that unless you have 100 and- no, I think it'd be 91 and up infrastructure. I presume at 91 is when it stops being a problem, because it assumes, oh look, there's, you know, it's 9 less than the max, just like in normal infrastructure. Here we go, we're herding them all in. You might even say we might be concentrating them. Oh, this is a lot of divisions. Oh, that's the biggest- it's still going! There's the end of the overruns. It's important to remember, by the way, we've apparently lost 5 million manpower in this war, when in fact we've lost negative 73,000. Yep. If you want to know how fucked this game is, in the last month of fighting the Italians, they lost 3,788 pieces of equipment. We scavenged 14,000. I... I don't know where we're getting these rations from, but we should probably stop calling them Soylent Green. The numbers, Mason! <laughs> it's over. Oh, a peace deal, it's beautiful. Brilliant, the Italians now live on an island and are democratic. Libya's been made, Ethiopia's been liberated, I have a little bit of everything. And I got Bulgaria as well. This was actually torturous. So, in order to make up for all the horrible things I've just done, I'm gonna kill Poland. And then after that, I'm gonna go after the big boy. Fuck. Looks like killing Poland involves uh, involves declaring war in Romania. Who is allied with Yugoslavia? I think everything's ready. Oh god, I've just... The whole way this has been designed, so many terrible... What the fuck? It's not even a Japanese unit. 
That's man, Chuparuno. In it. Yep. What the fuck, dude? God! Fucking damn it. What is the breakthrough of these guys? Oh, by the way, I haven't checked that yet. Oh my god, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. The breakthrough is a thousand, which still isn't enough. It's not even close to enough. Oh my god. This stuff, that's all like a few thousand, three thousand. Three thousand on the uh, normal boys. Where's... So I built some fat boys. I don't know if those, any of those have been deployed. Here you go. Let's, let's deploy some fat men, sorry. That's, that's the name I had for them. Quick, go, Fatman, go! I want to see these guys in combat. Oh my god, there's no one on this border. What's happening here? They're just not trying, are they? Alright, well, okay, fine by me. Poland seems to be the real threat. Let's pull half the guys off this border and send them to Poland instead. Oh, this is horrible. I have more troops than Tile. Oh god, there's so many troops. Oh, this is horrible. Okay, I want to see how well do they fight. That is 20,000 soft attack. My sweet Jesus. They're both going to die in a second. But that's 20,000 soft attack. Oh my god, finally. Do they, are they just not factored into the number there? I guess not. They're just sort of in the area but not actually being useful. No, they're factored in. What the fuck? How are they fighting me? Alright, I think we've come to a standstill, right? There's nothing more I can really do here. But there is something I can do, and I'm going to show it off. This is, like, the best way to do this, basically, okay? So the Poles are holding against us. I imagine with time and probably a flat line, I would eventually win. But honestly, not too sure on this front. I keep, like, every time my guys get to the front, they die. So let's try something a little different. So in every single division, I've added one infantry, like, replacement. So I've got a motorized or an infantryman or whatever. And look at this, the difference that a single infantry division makes for a, from a complete, just horrible route into an actual stable line. So I'm gonna let these guys, the new guys we've just built, spread out, and we'll see if we can attack. Like, still, this isn't much of a difference. This is just, like, double the HP, but I think it should overall make a massive difference in the staying power of my army. Okay, so remember, they are now entrenched, but I have also gotten my score, which is only a small amount. Actually, ironically, the Germans would love Grand Battle Plan because uh, of their 250% bonus. If I could get down this, you'd get like a massive, massive planning bonus. But let's give this a quick shot. Look at the entrenchment on the Polish there. Hopefully, after a bit, we'll start to bust through. In fact, actually, can I... Uh... Oh, no, I was going to say, let's use this. But no, of course, we need 1,600 command power to do that. Well, on the defense, it's okay. If we look here, let's see how much damage we're doing. 7,000, 7,000. Okay, that's not too bad. Are those just other oh, small trucks? But man, oh man, oh man. On the attack, we are still dying. Tearing those guys up there. But, yeah, no. God, I, I think you just need a little bit more. A little bit more HP, and you can survive it. I think this would actually be easier in the vanilla game. Because where, like, more soft attack matters. Whereas in this... I think it's the movement that screws you the most in this. You can't follow up on breakthroughs at all. So, uh, yeah, that's been Thick Hoi 4, everyone. I hate myself. The game is utterly fucking dying. And I have 20,000 political power. Yup. Good luck, ISB. I, I wish you the best. Do this in vanilla, in vanilla please, because this is... This is a poor choice to try and fucking do this in 10 times. I thought it'd be hilarious to get, like, fucking... I mean, I got 20,000 soft attack, and that was amazing. But fuck me, have I paid for that sin.